A Beginner's Guide to PUBG Before you land, try to find literally any weapon as fast as you can. And don't be like this guy, he's an idiot. Don't be him. Also don't run around when the building hasn't even finished loading, or this happens, a lot. Whoever just shot at me sucks, didn't take time to aim or even hit me once, but they don't stop moving and I could hear the footsteps as they ran around. Shotgun for the win, but are in my opinion useless without a choke on them. Do not loot like this, this method is slower and more dangerous than the one I use now. Instead of looking directly at what you want to pick up, use the menu instead. The menu is easier to see what's in the small pile and so you can cherry pick much faster. Only need the ammo, or health, just d-pad to it and hit the button. When using an LMG, don't bother with aiming down the sights, too much recoil and it's generally a mess. Just aim and fire, suppress them, scare them into hiding, some players just cannot cope with the amount you can fire in a short time. Again the player in the open, just unload at them. His mistake was holding a molotov ready to throw, having no weapon out gives you a window to be the only one who fires a gun. This shows the importance of do not stop moving, it's much easier to hit a guy who's not moving than one that is. Simple I know, but many people stop moving to aim easier, especially at long range, but up close it's deadly to stop even for a second, the first one stopped moving and went down instantly. Another important note is that the closer you are, the harder to keep a target in your sights if they are running. This may look stupid, but he will run out of ammo before he gets this kill. With my moving left and right I threw off his aim, he's standing still. Just because you are outnumbered doesn't mean you are outgunned. Here two players caught me at the box, but I have an LMG. And lots of ammo, as mentioned earlier, still not aiming down the sights, just aiming. Only short control bursts at range, full auto here will do me no good and will waste ammo. Just wait for one of them to move out enough to take down. They always get cocky and go for the kill instead of thinking. If they had split up to either side I would have had no chance. But instead they stuck too close together, don't be those guys. The rare instance where patience is key, on PUBG, that doesn't happen often. Now this one is a little embarrassing, and definitely where I learned that checking corners properly before running into a room is such an important part of surviving. He only had a pistol and a single clip, he fired first and that should have been enough. Instead I don't check the corners properly and miss with a shotgun, this should never have gone down this way. I cringed so much making this video and watching my older clips. I sucked so hard, but not as much as this guy getting beaten up by Vororu. The lesson here is to check the room properly, and don't stand in a corner to get beaten up as you hold an empty weapon. Now that I have embarrassed myself, here's a perfect example of my brother showing you how not to use grenades, just watch this genius at work. Amazing I know. He somehow managed to throw a grenade right at my feet, and nearly killed himself too. I think it's quite obvious but do not do this. Instead do this. Pick and choose your moments, don't pull them out until you know you have a good chance of it downing or killing them. Pull the pin and start counting. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, Four throw. Any longer and you will die. Aim for the closest cover to your target, that's what I do as that is probably where a player will go. Practice grenades whenever you can. Sometimes you just get caught up in a situation that has gone super foobar. Such as this clip, we get caught in the blue zone, so we are already in a hurry. Cars are fast but very loud and attract attention. Just keep calm and keep that foot down, swerve around and hope you don't get hit. If you lose a member in the blue zone then chances are they are dead already.
just keep an eye on the vehicle health gauge, once it catches fire it will explode after only a bit more damage. Get away from it as fast as you can, but only when it's slow enough to not kill you jumping out. Find cover and hope nobody is already inside. Then try take a position to fight back when they catch up to you. If you find yourself in a one-on-one -on -one for the chicken dinner, it can be quite stressful. The whole game rests on the next few moments, victory for one, a loss for the other. There are no hard and fast rules for this situation. Sometimes patience is key, sometimes a rush will do it. You will need to feel it out. In this instance, it's patience, I am quite safely into the circle so the blue zone is not yet a threat. I'm also quite sure the last one is in front of me, as my sight has a slight dip before the road. There's no cover except the car, so it is the most likely place a player would be, or maybe it is used as bait. If the circle shrinks, pray it's over your position, cause moving to a safe spot now is lethal. I saw him moving with the circle, but I think he also saw me, but too late. It is crucial that you aim before firing, missing now could mean death. If your squad makes it to the end of a game, the fight for the chicken dinner can get mental. But if you have the opportunity to own the circle, to keep the enemy out of it, to force them into the blue or come out to a wall of bullets you take it. Look at the positions of my squad on the minimap, a sniper held back, a few rifles take the only cover there is. We are safe in the circle, they are not and will need to come out into the open. With a teammate ready I pull a grenade out in chance I can get one as they come out. And also act as a lure for them to waste time shooting at me. And so giving our sniper a chance at downing them, trust your squad. That is paramount in PUBG. A good squad will do well, a bad squad will never get some chicken. In short, 90% of the time it's being fast, aggressive and random. The other 10, all strategy and experience. But basically when PUBG actually works, it is one of the best games. And what the hell, one kill in a squad game. You suck Bob. You suck.